Hey plant gang, Cornus officinalis, the Japanese cornelian cherry dogwood is what I'm in front of. This is for us uh, in the eastern part of Tennessee, the earliest blooming dogwood species. So many of you who are familiar with dogwood blooms, uh, this may surprise you of what the bloom looks like. A small circular uh, yellow blooms uh, that completely cover this plant. The cultivar that I'm in front of it is one of my favorites, it's called Sun Sphere. Uh, and it is a great one. Uh, we're going to show you a little bit later here, but the bark is also spectacular on this tree. Nice, uh, light colored, exfoliating bark. Uh, but why I grow this plant is because it really is a very early blooming plant. And it helps us create a succession of dogwood blooms in the garden. Uh, and that includes this plant followed by another uh, one called Cornus moss. Then typically we see Cornus florida and then Cornus cusa all bloom in succession. And this plant is part of that succession. Beautiful dark green leaves with very typical angled venation like all Cornus has. Uh, a great plant underused in the landscape and one that should be considered. So here on this plant, you can see uh, it has opposite leaf arrangement. The, the leaves are coming oppositely off the stem. Uh, these buds, here we are in August, and these buds will be uh, the flowers that will appear for us in February or early March. Uh, you can see this angled venation on this cornice, which is very typical of all cornice. Uh, greenish stems on the new growth going back to darker colored stems. Uh, beautiful dark green leaves, a little bit lighter green uh, on the back side, uh, but a beautiful plant. Uh, and one that is getting considered more and more in the home landscape. Cornus officinalis, the Japanese cornel cherry dogwood. This one's hardy from zones five through eight, can get about 20 to 25 foot high, spreading out just as wide. Uh, some cultivars have more of a rounded habit than others. Uh, we've allowed this one that you're looking at to branch completely down to the ground. You may choose to prune this up uh, to show off this really uh, fabulous bark, which can be quite nice. Uh, this uh, uh, plant is native to China, Japan, and Korea, uh, and is considered, we'll call it a large shrub to a small tree. Here's a landscape tip. Effective near foundations, in shrub borders, or as part of a woodland garden. Okay, plant gang, fast forward. Here we are, March 15th-ish, and we've got Cornus officinalis in full bloom. Again, this is a very early blooming Cornus or dogwood species. Uh, and as you can see uh, for this update here, we're in full bloom and it's absolutely gorgeous.